Hello, welcome. Welcome to the demo run through of a very small drum down version of Civitas Nihilium. I say drum down because you're looking at this screen right now and you're probably thinking to yourself, how come there's not 2000 billion witness cards in this stack? And how come there's not loads of locations and loads of first responders? Well, this this is the demo that you guys will be getting for free off the Kickstarter without having to be a backer, without having to pledge any money whatsoever to the to the Kickstarter campaign. You get an, an instant access to this on Tabletopia. And I thought it would be a good idea just to sort of run through the, the game's core mechanic with a video like this, just to sort of show you a little bit about how the game works and um, a very dumbed down version of the game. We're not going to be doing any upgrades today. We're not going to be doing all of the location cards or the witness cards. And we're only going to be running through one green crime. And we've already got our set characters already set up. Um, it's just to kind of take out the, the unnecessary aspects of the game that won't necessarily come into play until you really get a good grasp of how the game is played um, and you can get into the real meat of it. Um, but this is a good a good introduction and I think something that will hopefully get you excited. I mean, I'm excited. I love playing this game and I think that you guys will be, um, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. So I'm going to play through it and then I would, I would really encourage you guys to do it too. Please leave me a comment if you had fun playing it. Tell me what happened. Tell me how things, how things rolled out for you. Um, it will be really, really great to see to see what you guys what you guys think of it and um yeah so without further ado let's let's crack on this is tabletopia this is the tabletopia environment as you can see it's very cool you can zoom right into things you can move around you can you can do all sorts of stuff you can shuffle cards you can you can spin the table around um i've done it in a way that that enables us to sort of play it as if we were playing the game on a on a standard tabletop obviously which is how it should be and um yeah so let's let's have a little look so we've got two characters laid out first of all so this is our main character and our rookie in civitas nihilium at the very beginning you were supposed to draft three main characters and draft three rookies and then pick one from each of those two piles of three so in this scenario what we've done just to make things a little bit more simpler and to give you a, a really good understanding of how of how main characters and rookies can work together i've pulled out two particular cards which i think are quite interesting the first one is our main character, Detective Spook Pollock. Now he has a starting reputation of five. These are his stats. One ether and zero ion charges. Reputation is what you use to speak to people. P people of a higher of a higher class, um, a higher class status, for example, in the city. Ether is what you use to buy things like upgrades or to bribe people in certain situations, purchase from black markets, etc. etc. Ion charges are what you use to power your air vehicle to go to certain locations. And then underneath here, we have our actual skills. So just like in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, you would have a skill, say, like charisma, for example. So using your charisma to get something done. If you were to have a skill number of, say, a plus one or a plus two, you would roll your dice and then you would add that number to the dice roll. Same principle here. The number one here against charisma means if you're doing a charisma trial, or a charisma check if you want to use the Dungeons and Dragons terms then you would add the plus one to that charisma trial so if I rolled say a six I would get a seven if I if I was doing a charisma trial the same thing for the next one underneath which is engagement and then under that is analysis so charisma engagement and analysis are your three main skills then underneath that you have your health and this guy's health is seven so his total max H HP is seven seven hit points now during an investigation you can add one wound to this main character in exchange for additional points to any trial. So if, for example, you're talking to a witness and you're shaking down a witness and getting a little bit crazy on him and you're do using engagement and on the card it says that in order to successfully achieve an engagement trial on that particular witness, you need to roll at least a six, but you only get a four, you could spend one wound here to get yourself up to the six because you would get the four you'd get the plus one which would make a five here and then you would add a wound to this guy so he takes a wound whilst he's duffing that person up to get that extra point so he could achieve what he needs to achieve on that particular witness pretty cool it's a dystopian society what do you expect now where it comes in, into 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 play with regards to working with your rookie and this is just a serendipitous situation because there are 
13 main characters in the game and there are 12 rookies so there's so many different combinations you can do between main characters and rookies where you can get these skills down here to work really well together this is one that i think works particularly well so here is cadet dawn scarlet now cadet dawn scarlet is very interesting she starts with two reputation one ether and two ion she has a charisma skill of one an engagement skill of one and an analysis skill of zero she's a little bit healthier than spook pollock probably because she doesn't smoke or take drugs <laughs> and she's got eight hp now this rookie heals by removing one wound at the beginning of every trial before any other actions are taken now this is between the the two of you so this is with, with within your team so if you decide to spend that one extra wound to get the the plus on the dice roll for detective spook when he rolls at the beginning of the next trial you can remove that wound by it, it activating this particular skill on the rookie so it works really well the two worked really well together to add the dice rolls as you go along um this this game is incredibly tricky so to try and get that kind of angle is the best possible way to do it the number one cause why why some players can get frustrated when they play this game is because they don't adhere to the bottom set of rules at the bottom of these of these cards every single experienced civitas nihilian player will tell you that making sure that this here between you and your main character working together well making sure that those two things work well together is key a lot of the time people always look towards trying to get hefty reputation or hefty ion charges or try to what they want to buy more upgrades and stuff like that that's that's great and it really helps but if you don't get this right off the bat down here you are setting yourself up for failure straight away so always adhere to that that's the gameplay that's where it gets really granular and really detailed working out which one to choose okay so we're starting off on the demo with these two guys just so you guys can see how it actually works now then so on the sides beside each main character and rookie is an indication of this of the current stats of that particular rookie we're using translucent dice in the physical game but in tabletopia that's not an option so we just have blue green and, and purple dice so the blue dice are obviously for reputation the green dice are for ether and the purple dice are for your ion charges now that's a maximum of 18 for every for every stat and the same on the other side as well for the, for the rookie a maximum of 18 on there okay so just to give you a clear indication as to where you are so two reputation one ether two ion it says on this card two reputation one ether two ion okay so what we now must first do well, now we what we now must do without without any hesitation is flip our crime card we flip the crime card and we look at it and we see what's going on so on this crime card the hackers of civitas nihilium it tells us a little bit of story text here a little bit this is a story generating game after all so it has to have lots of filler text i'm afraid for those that don't like filler text but this is the way that it is it's a story generator so side a if we get this is the first sort of trial that we're set up with we need to roll the d10 just once because it doesn't tell us to do anything else if we roll that d10 and we get between a one and a five we do this side that's our setup for the truck for the actual crime if we get between a six and a ten we roll on the b side and we set up this way so as you can see this one is one first responder three witnesses and one location and we add one resource of any type to our rookie on the b side it's one first responder one witness and three locations and add one res resource of any type to our rookie so we can't see the locations yet they've not been revealed the witnesses have not been revealed either so we don't know what's going to be happening on that side or that side but we're going to we're going to reveal the cards now and put them into the location pools uh, into the location pool and the witness pool just to see where we're at so the first thing we must do is we must take our three witnesses into our hand so as you can see here you click on the hand on on uh, on tabletopia it's a right click on the deck and you just click all the way down to number three and that reveals three witness cards we stick them in the slot like this we press f and that flips them and they get flipped so we have three witnesses in our reveal pool this is our reveal pool not our not our timeline this is our crime investigation area this is our timeline area here so we run through the game along this line this is just the people that have come forward now we choose as detectives who we wish to speak to first who we wish to speak to at all and the same is said for locations so we take three locations and we flip those by pressing f 
we can do them all at the same time like that and we drop them down this is where tabletopia becomes absolutely epic it's a great great system and we can see here these are all our locations that we've got in our location pool so these are places that we think might be of interest these are people that we think might be of interest now we've got to find out how many of them we can bring in do we bring in three witnesses in one location or do we bring in one witness in three locations so let's have a look by rolling on this one thing you must make sure that you that you do prior to rolling on this particular card is you must look at the number in the top right hand corner here you can't see it at the moment with this but what i'll do is i'll just zoom in on the card itself on the screen so you can see now that is an indication of how much evidence we must add to the final encounter card the final encounter card must always remain face down over here so there it is there the final encounter card face down over there and it's telling us to add 20 evidence so we must add 20 evidence from over here right here are our evidence tokens We'll just take one, two, three, four, and we'll stack them up like this. Don't worry, you'll see in a second there's fives on the bottom. Oops. There's lots of fun dealing with these. Take them across. Okay, so we flip. There's five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So there's our 20 evidence taken from our pool of evidence over here on the left hand side. So 20 evidence has been added to the final encounter. Now the aim of the game is to get as many evidence counters, get all of the evidence counters off of this final encounter. Once we've got all the evidence in, off of the final encounter, we can then flip the final encounter card and deal with the final three trials that are on that final encounter. We win those three final trials, we get to add lots of bonuses down here to our to our stats, and we then are able to take upgrades afterwards. In this game, the demo, the game will actually end and then that's it. But let's have a little look and see what we get and see, see where we go from there. So, okay, side A or side B, let's roll. So I'm gonna go get the fake D10, which is our D10 dice. I'm gonna zoom on into the card and we're gonna roll. So let's roll this baby. So it's a 10. So we get first one first responder card, one witness card, and three location cards. By the way, another frequently asked question to people when they received the game was that they had no 10s on their 10-sided dice. The zero on a 10-sided dice is the number 10. I know, it's just one of those things. <laughs> okay, so it's telling us on here, we did side B, it's telling us one first responder, one witness and three locations and add one resource of any type to your rookie so what's our rookie a little bit low on well our team in general is low on ion we need that ion up so let's flip her to three let's set that to three so we now have three ions so that's been that's been dealt with that's been sorted so it's saying one first responder one witness and three locations we take the first card we lay it down and we leave that in there blind for the time being. Now it's telling us to do three locations and one witness. So all three locations come into our investigation. And now it's telling us one witness, a very important thing here because we need to make sure that we get the right witness. We need to make sure that we bring the right witness into our, into our, our section. Now, what is the right witness? So here we go, Xavier Chase. Now, it's telling us here that Xavier Chase has a qualifier of four reputation. So if we have less than four reputation, we won't be able to do the trial on this on this card. We can bring the witness into our timeline, but we can't attempt the dice rolls at the bottom here to hit these targets because he exists in a higher plane of society to us and we can't actually we can't actually talk to him. It's the thematic aspect of the world is that there's lots of high society and pillars and things you have to get through. So yeah, this is for reputation for this guy. So we'll see We'll see where we are. I think I'm pretty sure we're above that. So we should be able to talk to him. Um, but let's have a look at this under here and talk about trials quickly. So these icons tell us who's rolling the situation. So this is either our main character or our rookie rolls a charisma trial to try and hit a six. If they get a six or above, they get two reputation. 
if they get a six or below, they lose two reputation. So it's really important to recognize the, the opportunity here. Two reputation or lose two reputation and trying to get a six. Over here, we've got the analysis, which is a, a six or above. You get two evidence, but you lose three reputation. Combined, this is the main character and the rookie role in. That's what that icon means there. And that's an engagement of 18 or above and you get nine ether. But if you miss that 18, you'll get eight wounds. Now, we don't want to get any wounds. We want to be able to add wounds to our main character because he likes to get in a scuff. We want to add wounds to him every time he, he deals with tricky, tricky trials. So and then our rookie can heal him. So I don't think we're going to want to go for that one. Analysis. OK, not bad. We get two. we get two evidence. That's that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we've got. So let's move over to Hawkless Skinner. Hawkless Skinner has a high reputation qualifier of 14. Um, we have to give him two, two ion charges and take the bottom card from the upgrade deck and attach it to either your main character or rookie. And then we have to discard the card so he doesn't get added as a key witness. Um, that's another rule that you'll see later on as you, as you learn about the game. Um, and then we've got CA2599. This is a transhuman. Transhumans have, have these prefixes as, as names. Um, 16 reputation really tricky to speak to this guy so we would collect three evidence and draw one witness in one location a great card but very expensive so it's going to have to be the first one here xavier chase so we'll move xavier chase into our timeline and that's our setup so we're going to look at i would say let's look at our locations now and remember we only have three ion so when we look at our locations there's the ion we can't go to this location, that's an eight ion. We can go to this location, that's a one ion. Five ion, oh, five. Gosh, we're only on three. So Flint and Steel Heights is a place where we're gonna be heading first of all by the looks of things. Let's make this really simple for us. Let's bring this all together. So we bring this card there, we put this card there, we stick this card there. This card goes on top of that one because we're building our timeline. Um, let's just do that. And let's take on Xavier Chase first, followed by Flint and Steel Heights. So Xavier Chase and Flint and Steel Heights, what do we want to do? So personally, I think we need to start trying to get ourselves some evidence. We need to try and get some ion charges as well, but we don't have any opportunities to get that so far. If we go to a location, if we complete this card, complete the next card and then we hit a card like this that we can't get to because we don't have the ion charges we are then forced to play encounters and we have to flip a random encounter from the top of the deck flip it over and it could be a bonus it could be a a negative think about it as a community chest or a chance card it's pretty pretty tricky sometimes we could we could be faced with combat drones cannibals from the outer wall um, all sorts of stuffs going on in this city in this in this city so it can be it can be quite treacherous so um let's just have a look and see where we go from there okay so i think xavier chase should be should be first followed by flint and steel heights because it's only one it's only one eye on to get there so that's our that's our investigation timeline now as we're going through this we have to flip the first responder and see what's coming through first so the first responder might even be able to give us some sort of bonus you never know Let's just see what we get. So we flip the first responder. This is the card we must deal with first. And this is Detective Phenosis. Lemonos. Phew, a detective I can trust. Look, I got someone on the inside of the CRC feeding me names that I know will be connected. Yeah, there's some bystanders, but seriously, these chatbot profiles are connected to this. So it's saying draw two witnesses into your investigation and unlock a witness slot. Sweet. If you wish, you may now draw and replace up to four new witnesses into the witness reveal pool yeah let's do that all right cool so basically these slots up here i'll show you these slots up here are locked and we can re we can put them back into these we can put we can basically if we get a card like we just got there from the first responder we can unlock these particular slots and it gives us more options from when we're being told to draw witnesses into our investigation area we can look at different people at the top there she's saying that we can put these guys we can redraw four new witnesses into the witness reveal pool so what we'll do is we'll discard these guys 
we'll discard these dudes like this. We'll just rotate them 90 degrees and stick them there. So they're discarded. Maybe we'll flip them just to keep things nice and out of the way. And then we'll draw. So we can now draw four new witnesses and we can plop, plonk them in here. So there's there, there, and there. And we've got witnesses. We've got new witnesses to look at. And we can, what does she say here? She says we can draw two into our investigation. So we're drawing two witnesses now into here. So let's look at these four witnesses and see which ones are best. So let's just cruise along like this. I think that might make life a little bit easier. So this guy, when we when we come to his to his card, we get to to we get to gain one reputation, but we have to draw two encounters. This one, big Mike Mike Big B Barnet, good old Mike. Three reputation, we have that. We have to roll together because that's the main character and the rookie together on a on a charisma check. We've got to get above a twelve on an engagement with a plus one so we actually get engagement plus one if you successfully pass this trial add this card as a plus one engagement upgrade to either your main character or rookie so mike comes on board and helps us with some cool tech because he's a hard metal smite awesome dude absolutely awesome dude great guy in real life as well um, if you successfully pass this trial add this card as a plus one engagement upgrade to either your main character or rookie perfect that's a really good card, um, but we have to get above a 12. Maybe we'll take some wounds onto the main character and see how we go from there. So that's a cool guy. Let's have a look. Uh, 13. Okay, 13. Where are we on reputation? Let's come out and have a little look again. So we're quite far away on reputation for that one. But this is this is the card for that. Milan, 13 on rep. Ah, tricky. Okay, Will Radcliffe, let's talk through this one because we're able to do this card. So it's saying to us that either our main character or rookie needs to pass a charisma check and get above a nine. If they get above a nine, we get six reputation. Um, if we get below a nine, we, we lose six reputation. Um, similar situation, but for analysis, above a nine, four ion. Now we need ion charges. We need these. This is what we have to do, I think. Or we lose six reputation. Well, we're going to have to take some wounds and get a nine. So we're going to roll the main character on analysis and try and get that, I think. Yep. Here's Ether, two wounds. Okay, this is it. We're going to take we're going to take Will Radcliffe. We get to draw two. So I say we take Will Radcliffe and Big Mike B. Barnett into our investigation because it says on here, draw two witnesses into your investigation and unlock a witness slot. And I think we go for Will Radcliffe first of all, I think, because why the hell not? Let's see. Now remember, at the beginning of our trial, so the beginning of any card, of any dice roll that we make, we get to remove one wound. We don't have any wounds at the moment connected to Detective Pollock, but when we do, we'll be able to remove them. So we can we can go pretty chilled with this. So let's have a little look. Let's have a goosey gander. Will, come on down. Let's boot, move Will over here. Let's put Will here so we can see him. Okay, cool. Now, we're going to roll our main character analysis so we get a plus one on there. Once we've done the dice roll, we can then commit wounds to add to that to try and get ourselves over the nine. We're just going to hit nine for four for four ion charges. OK, and let's have a look how that goes. So here's the dice. Let's roll this baby and see what happens. So it's a four. So it's a four, five six seven eight nine we need to add four wounds to spook okay we gotta do it four wounds here we go so one two three four okay let's move these down a little bit get them stacked up nicely so we know what we got okay four wounds have been added but we successfully completed it so we get four ion charges and we don't take the six the six reputation hit Oh, OK, so we're going to add let's just add four ion directly to spook down here. So I take a take a purple dice and I set this to four and there it is. And I go and plonk Will Radcliffe over here and he gets added to the to the final encounter as a key witness. Now, we're not going to be using key witnesses in this in this version, in this demo version of the game, because we're not going to be playing another crime. If we were to be playing another crime after this or if this crime was to go unsolved, 
we would then have to draw a new crime in and then use our key witness to try and to try and dumb that down. We can use key witnesses actually towards the end of this. If we were to get to the final encounter and we were to completely fail, you can pick one key witness to try and to try and um, retrial and go in to actually try and um, and successfully complete the crime. Um, but it's highly likely that we won't be needing to do that. But if we do need to do it, then we'll do it. And you can check out the key witnesses rules in the instructions below, down on the below bit down here on the on the Kickstarter main page. OK, so first responder goes back into the first responder deck. We shuffle the first responder deck up. OK, Will Radcliffe is there. We've dealt with him. So let's have a little look at what we're going to do now. So do we go to Mike? Or do we go to Xavier Chase? Um, I don't think it matters. We're not going to be doing an engagement role on Xavier Chase just yet. So let's just see. Let's take on Xavier Chase. So let's bring Xavier down here. Ooh, I think there's two there, isn't there? Flint and Steel Heights is just underneath. Oh yeah, we can go to Flint and Steel Heights. Let's go to Flint and Steel Heights first. Let's swap it round. Okay, so we're going to go and check out Flint and Steel Heights, the famous music studio. It's the factory of some of the biggest hits of the 22nd century. Your rookie is really excited to pay a visit. All right, cool. So we've got, we're walking through history right now. Yeah, this place is absolutely humongo. Really cool. A great location in Mysteries of Profundum. Really fun. Really, really fun location to visit in the, in the Mysteries of Profundum text adventure, which you'll be getting as part of your pledge to this Kickstarter. You'll be getting the digital version or the physical version. Check it out down there or, or up there. Check it out up there. Up there, down there, up there. I think it's going to be up there. Check out the demo. You'll love it. OK, cool. So here we go. Um, here we get to roll our main character and our rookie and we get to either do analysis or charisma check. I think we're just going to mo move it together and it also enables us if we there's no there's no negative things on here. So I don't think we need to add any wounds at this stage, but we will be taking a wound off because we'll be taking on this card. It's a trial. So once we get to Flint and Steel Heights, the rookie's going to patch up Detective Pollock. She's going to do a tourniquet on his bandages or something like that and just see how he gets on. Um, we added wounds on a witness, so I guess he I guess he duffed him up or or he suffered some stress because, you know. Getting out on the streets of Civitas Nihilium can be pretty stressful from time to time. So let's see what we let's see what we do with Flint and Steel Heights. Let's have a little look. So let's bring it down here. OK, let's activate her special powers and remove a wound. And let's see. So we're going to roll our D10. We get a three. So we're doing this on we're doing this on our charisma. So we're getting a three for our main character. So that's a four. And then we roll again. I'm not adding a wound this time. We roll again. We get another four. So that's a five. So that's a five on there. So that's a nine overall. So we get a nine and that's one. We get one evidence removed. So pretty simple. All we do is we take the five, take a five here. We flip it to three. We come over here. We get a one. And we stick a one there. And that's it. So now we've got five, 10, 15, 13, 14. 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. And this card goes back into the locations. And we look at what we've got next. So locations are now done. That's moved that's that's moved through. So we've got our got our one we got our one evidence from that location. Now let's look at Xavier Chase. Let's go back to Xavier Chase, our buddy. Let's see what we're going to do here. Let's try and get some more of that evidence down. Let's do an analysis check this time with our main character. I think our main character. Um, analysis one, yes. He gets an analysis plus one. Our rookie gets an analysis plus zero, so it's a no-brainer. Let's see what we come up with. So we need to basically beat. We need to beat a six or above. Pretty tricky to get, but we we can add wounds. We're only down we're only down to two wounds on this guy, so we can add two wounds onto him or 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 whatever. But let's see what we end up rolling on. So let's roll again, and that's a five. 
So five plus one is a six. We did it. So we get our two, our two evidence removed. We don't take the three reputation hit because we don't need to, because we successfully got above the six on our main character roll. So let's go over here and remove the two reputation. We can just take away this three and add another one. Let's put the three over there and let's add another one. There we go. And then this guy gets added as a potential key witness for the end of the game, for the end of the crime. All right, cool. So we've done that. We've collected our evidence. I say we go to Big B, Big B Barnett and see if we can add our engagement score because we're still short of being able to get to Talonco Rock Wash, Rock Wash Station for five ion. Um, it's highly likely that we're going to have to do an, uh, an encounter after this and sometimes encounters tend to use your engagement because you've got to deal with certain things like combat drones and stuff so if that was to happen we're going to need we're going to need big b on our side so let's get him involved and see if he can help us out with a uh, with a plus one engagement we need to get 12 on this so we're starting him against so we remove one wound we didn't remove a wound from the last card so i'll remove that one as well we need to do that. Must remember that one. Okay, so here we go. Let's take this guy on. So it's Charisma on Big B. Rolling. That's a nine. A nine plus one is a ten. So that's a ten. We need to get at least a two. So we've done it because she has a plus one, which is 11. And unless we roll zeros on our D10, we're going to do this one. So that's great. So let's roll again on here just to make sure. <laughs> we got a one. So we got a one and a two. That's a 12. We got a 12. <laughs> oh, dice gods. Dice gods. Okay. So here we go. We've got that. We've done it. So he adds. We now, if you successfully pass this trial, you add this card as a plus one engagement upgrade to either your main character or your rookie. So let's see who's who that's going to favour the most. Engagement, they're both plus one and engagement. Plus one there. Plus one there. Let's add it to our main character. So he comes down here. And how you add upgrades, you just basically just stick them on underneath pretty much. And that's it. And we just, let's see if we can it around. There we go. So he's underneath there. We can take him off the top slightly oh, let's do it so it doesn't go orange whoops there we go so now we know that pollock's got big mike b underneath just so we know what's going on okay cool so we don't lose any reputation for that we just basically gain a plus one on our engagement um which is going to come in very handy because we're now in the realms of having to take on oh no we're good we're good we've got four five six seven we got seven ion Big gold stars for those that have noticed my mistakes. You've always got to make sure that you watch your stats as you're going through this game and see what's happening with, with regards to your accumulation because we can now take on this particular card. We've got four, five, six, seven ion, which allows us to go here. So we can go straight in here and we can draw two witness cards and gain five ion. Woohoo! So here we go. See? So we get this. We take this bad boy off and all we do is we just basically take the two witnesses that are at the top they come into our into our investigation by default whether we whether we want them or not they're in there because they're the last two that are remaining now remember we have a fourth slot unlocked and then what we do is we draw two witnesses we've done that and we gain five ion so this goes back the rock wash station goes back into the locations and we shuffle and then we draw our five, we get our five ion. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's our five ion, lovely jubbly. So we've now got 11 ion charges. Awesome, we can go to other locations. So now let's look at our investigation timeline. Oh, we also took that card on, so we remove a wound. Yay. So let's have a little look. So witnesses, I don't think we need to worry about witnesses right now. Let's see what 
kind of oh we've only got one location left we've only got one location left in here okay let's look at this <clears throat> so we're kind of we're kind of cruising now with the ion charges so we've not got that much of a problem really um but what you can see here is we get double bonuses for the things that are in green so where you see the green here and the green there it's not choose what you get it's get what you get now if you look here gain full health this is a great card for spook our main detective because he can go in here start smashing up stuff or analyzing things and getting stressed out and chatting to people and being all crazy but what he what he'll lose in his health he'll gain back at the end of using this card so you gain full health so this is a win-win situation provided spook doesn't get totally wasted out on his h on his hp because you add you add enough hate um you add enough wounds to deplete the hit points down to the point where he actually dies you can't do that you have to be you have to work within the parameters of the number of hit points that he actually has so in this scenario let's try and get a 15 plus so we get eight evidence removed and we gain eight ion and then we gain the full health so we're going to go charisma because we get the we get the highest points on our on our on our dice rolls for charisma and it's a two it's a two roll so we're rolling for the main character and the rookie and we need to get a 15 plus so let's bring this card down down here okay no wounds to take off which is cool um, because it's a plus one on charisma here and a plus one on charisma there we get a plus two on our actual rolls on in total so let's see where we're at so let's get nice and close to this card so let's find out how we do this we're going to roll for our main character first for spook okay so that's an eight okay so let's add some wounds eight nine ten eleven twelve plus one is thirteen so that's thirteen for the main character we need to get 15 13 14 15 we need to, to roll at least a one a zero a ten <laughs> so we did that great so we get eight taken off there and we get our eight ion charges and we remove our wounds so let's take our eight our five ten and then let's add three put them back okay oh we're putting picking up encounters accidentally so that's our evidence taken off so we're now down to five six seven eight nine ten evidence to remove from that bad boy okay we're doing all right with the evidence now aren't we that's cool where are we now we need to gain full health so we move this off gain full health and this card goes straight back into the location deck all right cool so we're looking okay we've got so we've got 10 evidence to get rid of so let's have a look and see who we've got left we've only got this one guy left now once we once we we gain the one the one reputation we're going to have to draw the two encounters um we're stuck because we need to get past this evidence here and once we end up with no evidence whatsoever the crime's going to go unsolved so the crime will go unsolved and then we'll have to try and go back to one of our 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 key witnesses here to actually solve the situation so let's deal with this guy so here he is gain one reputation and draw two encounters so we gain one reputation let's click this to three click the three and we draw two encounters so there's one encounter Oops. so there's one encounter and another encounter there they are and then this guy gets oh no Milan is there that's good phew but we don't have the reputation to deal with Milan yet because he's 13 reputation okay so 13 reputation is a tricky one because if we go and have a look at the 13 reputation situation we're five six seven eight we're still only on eight so let's do these encounters one by one so let's put them there i like to shuffle them before i look let's lay them down and let's have a good look so 
we take the first one off we flip it and it's the draconic brotherhood okay very fitting this is the cult that you play in the mysteries of profundum you play characters that are actually part of this cult quite exciting you get to walk around civitas nihilium inside this really cool four by three commodore monitor um inspired awesomeness <laughs> and uh yeah you get to choose your path on this one so we either lose all of our own our all of our ion charges or we roll our main character and our rookie for either charisma or engagement if we get below a 13 we get eight wounds to share between both of us and we lose this is what we lose we lose we add eight wounds obviously because that's the red is the lose but that's adding wounds and we lose our eight ion charges if we get above a 14 we get four reputation and five ether if we're successful with our charisma we get eight evidence removed from the final encounter so we get to collect eight evidence to support the final encounter of the crime to support the crime to support the final trial that's we got to do that so let's let's go charisma charisma main character and rookie above a 14 we can do this we can do it all right we can do it guys we can do it let's bring the, the draconic brotherhood in let's look at the situation oh we do have the plus we do have the plus one on the engagement here which would add a three that would add a three to our final score but do you know what we need that eight rep we need that eight evidence we need that eight evidence removed from our final encounter so let's go for it okay so we're going to choose number two we're not going to lose all our ion charges we're going to take these dudes on okay let's see what happens let's see if we can let's see if we can sweet talk the draconic brotherhood into being our pals okay so let's roll for the first for the first player the main character so he gets a three with a plus one so that's a four okay four five six seven eight nine one two three four five let's go to ten okay so he's one away from dying now okay he's one away from dying we don't remove the wound because we're taking on the encounter right now um, we won't be taking any wounds unless we get below but he's got he's rolled a 10 so we're looking good okay so that's a 10 now we're doing this with the main character with the rookie sorry we're doing the rookie roll eight yes we did it great so we're now successful we've ah yes we've done it great 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 so we get four reputation let's do this sequentially so we get four reputation added so let's add four let's add four reputation so let's add let's add three on here and let's add one there okay cool now we add five ether Woo. so let's set this guy to six ether for our five ether and now let's remove our eight woohoo our eight evidence so we're going to be down to only three evidence on here now so let's just get rid of these yes ah oh, great now then the encounter of the draconic brotherhood now gets discarded so we put the that card in there that's discarded the encounter we plonk, plonk, plonk him back into the discard pile okay so now we're on to the next encounter but before we do that we're going to remove a wound we have to do the next encounter because the the reason why the encounter has a slot here prior to the investigation timeline is when encounters are drawn you have to tackle the encounters first before you can go back to anybody else to deal with them um it's pretty good at right now we've currently got 12 reputation milan is on 13 so hopefully if this encounter card isn't too isn't too lethal we should be able to get through this and get to milan we've only got three evidence to remove off of here now milan doesn't allow us to remove any evidence so we're gonna it's gonna be tricky we're gonna have to be drawing a few more encounters by the looks of things or potentially go into a key witness to try and get that to try and get that final evidence at the end um let's just see what happens so 
let's flip this encounter and see what we've got. Okay. Okay, the DMCRA. How comes this place ain't on no map? So choose our path. We can trade reputation for charisma on the next trial. We can trade ion for engagement on the next trial. We can trade ether for analysis on the next trial. Or we can turn in this unlicensed trader for nine ether. If you choose number four, discard this card. Um, ethers are relevant at this stage. So maybe let's look at trading in our ether for analysis. It's a tricky one. It's a real tricky one, this one. Yeah, I think we're going to have to because we might want some locations played into this. Um, oh, one thing I've forgotten to do prior to this. Once you've done an encounter, you draw fresh cards into the slots and you flip them. So it's something that that you have to remember doing after encounters. Um, it's very important. Flip, 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 flip. Okay. So let's look at this encounter now that they're flipped. We don't need to look at those witnesses and, and locations just yet because nothing is telling us to draw anything into it. So it's not it's not a huge deal, but it's important that we have them up there because that's the that's the flow of the game. Um, okay. So choose your path. It's saying. Trade five reputation for five for five charisma, five ion for five en engagement, five ether for five analysis. Or we can turn in them in, turn them in and get nine ether. Um, I think we're going to have to we're going to have to take um, our analysis. So we're going to trade in five Ethereum for five analysis. Let's do that on the next trial. So we'll remember this. This is the card. We'll stick that there just for the next trial so we know that's what's coming up. And we'll remove our five ether. So this can flip down to one. Set to one. Okay. That's that done. Now we must remember we have plus five analysis for the next trial. Right. Okay. So they've been replenished. We did that card so we take away a wound. Now we look at what we've got next. So Milan, 13 reputation. We still are only on 12. We can't do this card, so we draw another encounter. So here's an encounter here. We flip it. Okay, it's the I love you virus. So a computer virus attack. All chatbot history and CRC files regarding you and your rookie may now or may have been compromised. The damage is chaotic and permanent. Luckily, your rookie hasn't been infected. Roll your reputation dice. This is your character's new reputation count. Ouch. Okay, so we've got to roll our reputation dice. So there's our reputation dice. Roll it. One. Okay, this is going to turn. This is going to turn yucky. That goes back into the encounter deck. We shuffle it. We can't do Milan anymore, so we take another encounter. Ooh, ooh, this could turn into trickiness. Let's flip it. Okay, combat drones. All right, this is what we were talking about. Target sighted, move into combat formation. Kill setting override, Gamma Drake 42. Okay, so it's two. It's our main character and our rookie rolling on an engagement. We get the plus one engagement from Big Mike B. Um, we get a... Annoyingly, we get plus five analysis. So that card is now being completely defunct. So we can put that card back. Let's put that card back and shuffle it up. Didn't do anything for us. But, you know, you take these risks in life not to escape life, but to prevent life from escaping you. So let's look. So if we get um, above a 16, we get five ion charges. And then we can shuffle the encounter back into the encounter deck. Yeah, of course. So let's see what we get. Okay, 16 or above. So we remove a wound because we're dealing with a new a new dude. Let's see what we get. Roll. So three plus one. Three plus one is four. Plus another one is five. Let's add some wounds. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six. Okay, we're down to one wound again. Okay, and we're down to one wound on Mr. Spook. Let's see what we get with here. So we're eight there. 
Okay. This is going to be tough. Yo! Wow. Wow. Eight. Boom. Kaboom. That's a total of 16. Yay! So that encounter's gone. Bye bye, encounter. Bye bye. Well, shuffle this encounter back into the encounter deck. So it goes back in there. Shuffle it up. Alrighty. Okay. And we get our five ion charges. So one. Two, three. Four, five. Okay, cool. So that's that. Okay, where are we at now? We've got seven reputation. We're still stuck. We've got to do another encounter. Let's see where that head, heads. <laughs> see where that goes. This is getting very dicey indeed. But, you know, you never know. We could get the three evidence from this encounter. Let's flip it. Oops, let's flip it. Ah! Oh. Okay. Dr. Mark Bigamus. We should definitely trust this guy. Roll two additional ion charge dice. Assign one of each die to our main character and rookie and draw two locations into your investigation. Woohoo! Okay, so let's remove let's remove our one wound because this guy is technically a trial as well. So let's roll our two, let's roll two additional dice and add them. So we'll get this guy here. We'll roll it. And we'll add that five there. There we go. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's set that to six. Set this to one. And plonk that bad boy there. And then let's get another dice. And roll this one for our rookie. All right. Cooly, ooly, oolio. Let's stick that six down there, six, seven, eight. And then what else does he say to do? So we've rolled those two additional dice and add one of each to these guys and then draw two locations into your investigation. Great, so he gives you ion to get to, to get to locations, which we've got a shed load of. And if you remember at the beginning, we didn't have that many, but now we have quite a lot. So let's see where, let's, let's see where this goes. Getting very excited here. Okay, so um, two locations into our investigation. So he goes back into the encounter deck. We shuffle it up. And let's have a look at our locations in the reveal pool. So draw two witnesses, gain five, gain five ion. Awesome. So this plaza, we get to choose either analysis or charisma. We have the reputation just about. We definitely have the ion. Now we can either do analysis or charisma on this check and we can get our evidence. Yes, we can get our five evidence and we'll get three ion charges. We want to remove that evidence token. So let's see if we can do that. Um, and let's see this one here. Two or five. Poop zone. And that's the rookie going in there. So it's only the rookie goes in into the into the sewers. So the main character just sends the rookie down. Hilarious. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's tricky because the rookie needs to get a high roll above a six to get the five um, or take a wound. And then we're down to a different thing again. OK. So Mark Bigamus says draw two locations into our into our pool. I say we draw in this plaza and I say we draw in the poop zone. Now let's take on the plaza because we can do this. We've got enough reputation. Yep, we've got enough reputation. We have seven reputation. We definitely have enough ion because we've got all this ion down here, which is wonderful. So we qualify to go to the, to the plaza and we're going to do a charisma check on this one and we're going to try and get above a 10. So we remove a wound. We remove a wound. So we've got one, two. Let's have a look. One, two, three. Four. We've got, we're down. We're down to four wounds on this guy. So four, five, six, seven. We've got space for adding two. We can add two to this dice roll for the main character at least. So let's do a charisma check and see where we go. So we're going to roll now. 
Oh, that's a nine. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we're there. We've done it. All right, cool. We don't need to add any. We don't need to add anything on. That's cool. Let's just roll for the rookie just to see how it plan how it plays out. Nine. So that's sixteen. We've done it. We've done it on the two straight rolls. Perfect. We get eight evidence removed and four ion charges. So let's add the four ion just in case. You never know what might happen in this game as we go through. So we go to five on there. The ion is added. We remove all of the evidence. We can't remove any more than eight because that's the way it is. These cards now go to the discard. And this card goes to the discard as well. Okay. All right, and now we go and check out what's going on. So we now have to look at our key witnesses and see which ones are the best. So that's that one there, that one there, and that one there. So if we fail trials on this card, let's flip it quickly. We need, we need to achieve final analysis of evidence on here. This card enables us to spend ion charges to add points to these numbers. And they are dice rolls that we make just once. So we do one dice roll and we have to get above a nine on the analysis or above the engagement or above the 10 on there. So we're rolling for our main, our, our rookie and main character. So our main character and rookie roll together. So we're rolling on here to try and get the plus nine on analysis. If we miss it, we get to roll this. So we're looking pretty good. And these are the bonuses that we get if we win the crime. So we get three reputation, four ether and two ion. And then we would move on to upgrades. So let's see what we get. Let's move this crime card over here, the final encounter crime card over here, and let's roll away. So it's a final encounter, still an encounter. So we move, we remove a wound and then let's see how we do. So let's roll up. On the first trial, we need to get a nine. So we get a six, that's a six because of the dot at the bottom. So that's a six plus, it's an analysis. That is seven, seven, um, let's spend seven eight nine let's take that down to two three so we've achieved that without having to roll on the rookie so that's done now let's go to engage the suspect engage and arrest the suspect so it's a trial in it's a third it's a second trial on side this final encounter card but it won't count as a trial on this to remove the wound okay you don't remove the wound on there the one card is the one is the whole trial itself so we're engaging and arresting the suspect. We need to get a plus nine on the engagement. Let's roll again. We get an eight plus one. That's a nine. So we've already done it. That's great. So we move on to the next one, which is to, to testify at the Nihilium secret tribunal. So we go to the secret tribunal and we stand up in the dock and we talk, myself and the rookie, both chat. Now we need to get a 10 on charisma for our combined role. So we roll for the main character first. That's a one. Let's submit some. So let's go to four, four. Uh, let's go to 10. Let's just do it. 10. Yep, it's done. And we successfully achieved that one there. And we get the get to add the three reputation, the four ether and the two iron. We've done it. We've completed the game. We've completed the demo. Now we would move on to a yellow crime. Well, we would move on to the upgrades. Then we would move on to a yellow crime. And then after we did the yellow crime, we would then move on to a red crime now i did say prior to that that we were going to look at key witnesses but the reason why we didn't we sort of skipped the key key witness um, section was because i noticed very very quickly that because we had the plus the plus added for our dice rolls for the ion we didn't need a key witness to help get us through the next stages if we were to add on here if we were to fail on the nine and add a um an evidence on there we, we can't go back to this to this trial to this card unless we remove that one evidence that would be added to it and the only way to do that it would be to question our key witness one of these here so looking at this the key witnesses are all pretty rubbish when it comes to evidence apart from xavier chase so xavier chase would have been our key witness in this scenario we would have removed these witnesses we would have had this guy just here just in case the final the final trials didn't work out um, more about that as the game develops in your mind you can check out the actual the actual full rules that that, that um, accompany 
that accompany the game, the rules 2.0, where it's where it goes into a much, much deeper analysis of the actual rule setup themselves and talks about the key witnesses and why you would use them and how you would use them, etc, etc. But that is basically it for the game. That's basically it for the run through the hackers of Civitas Nihilium demonstration. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you guys in the comments and I'll see you in the discord, I guess. Take care. Cheers.